there, buddy. I uh, hooked up my batteries here and my charge controller, and yesterday I hooked up about half my solar panels only because I need to get the MC4 connectors along the cord. But I got it wired over to my box. Right now it's a little crazy. Temporarily I put my solar combiner box up there. Right next to it is the lightning arrestor, and then you got these four strings that are uh, series positive, negative, positive, negative. They're going into the one side, it's all grounded. Got a ground that's uh, combined to that, and that's going to over here. Ground, positive, negative, schedule 40 goes down. Underground piped over there, comes back up. This is all temporary, just so I can get some power over here. For my batteries, I finally have bottom balanced them to uh, 2.75. I got them within 5 millivolts of each other, and most of them are like 2.71, which is pretty good. Negative, positive, you got a ground. You know, they go in here. These are just temporary. Check it out. They have 106 volts coming in, and 800... 84 watts pushed out. In well, this case, is 87%, 88%. Battery, originally, when I had it all pulled down to 2.75, that comes out to 44 volts at uh, 16 cells here. Charging it up here. 10 15 minutes or whatever I had it going here. Battery voltage is already up to 49.4. And it's manipulating the voltage with the amperage, and we're putting in 16.9 amps, which is phenomenal. So I put in uh, 100 watt hours in there. I uh, figured you would uh, enjoy the first look at my first charge of uh, solar. 50 volts, 17.7 amps uh, coming in. Uh, 800. Uh, I mean, it fluctuates there, but it was. You know, mid 800 uh, watts. You know, it's telling me I've pulled in a uh, 100 watt hours so far, and uh, it's converted this uh, down to uh, 107.9 volts at that many amps. The array, if you see over there, is the floor panels, which is a thousand watts, but it would would be set up for uh, nominal about. I think I open circuit about 148.8 volts and something like 8.7 amps. So in this case, it's pulled the voltage down to have the higher amps. Aside from the sun that's beaming down through a hole up there, I mean, it is pretty, pretty cloudy. <laughs> that is my pretty half solar array. Yesterday I did uh, get the Una strut so I can put in the other other side over there, but until I actually get uh, more of that like connector pieces, because uh, uh, I wanted to I wanted it to all to be you know all one row to be set up, but I I could probably take this guy the combiner box, move it to the center, and then I could flip these guys to where the uh, the connector boxes up here or in the center. And then just do the ones on the bottom would be on the top, and the top ones would have the connector piece. I'm talking about that little black thing right there um, that the leads come out would be there, and then I would uh, that would allow me to connect both of them over there without actually having to buy extension cords for these MC4s, which are weatherproof. They connect together, and then I'll zip tie that up, and then I could bring my schedule 40 conduit over here, down over here, and then trace it over there. But each one of those panels is like 50 pounds. I'm only 135 pounds, and that's what uh, 11 feet up. <laughs> so it's a little precarious. Woo! Look at that. 914 watts. I'm thinking that's pretty, uh, pretty darn snazzy for it being cloudy. One hole of the sun coming down, and as far as I know. It's like uh, 215 or 225. 225. So it's not even uh, not even noon. Excellent. 